teen suicide is on the rise. The pandemic a big blame for that, but one Long Island school district tonight has a program aimed at giving students support they need to avoid such tragedy. News 12's Antoinette Biorti has the story. I was about to, to engage in self-harm. Stacy Brief, who is now part of the Society for the Prevention of Teen Suicide, or SPTS, says she too had suicidal thoughts one day at her high school. But thankfully, she looked to her school's social worker, Theana Cheliotis, for help. Thank goodness she cared enough and, and she was in tune enough and knew the warning signs to look out for. I turned to her and I said, let's talk. Let me hear what's going on. That pivotal moment made Stacy realize there are even more teens out there experiencing the same thing. So Stacy, her sister Nicole, and her mom Lisa all got involved in SPTS. We give them resources, hopefully that they will take back and, and look up or utilize in any way that they can. And now they're bringing the vital program to teens in the Belmore Merrick School District. We need to work on the way we communicate with each other, the way we talk. The students had breakout sessions and workshops like this one where they learn about the signs of suicide and what to do to prevent it. Right now, suicide is the second leading cause of death among people 11 to 17 years old, but they say it's the most preventable. You are not alone. Your life matters and help is just one step away. 11th grader Christina Trupo says she sees other teens her age suffering and she's inspired by the lesson she learned at the summit today. I've learned many coping strategies, how to tell if a friend is struggling, how you can help a friend, how you can help yourself and it's just it's really uplifting. In Merrick, Antoinette Bjorty, News 12, Long Island. All right, if you'd like more information about the Society for the Prevention of Teen Suicide, please go to our website, news12.com, look under numbers and links. You could really help somebody.